Um, this airplane in 1981 was picked up at the factory by John Glenn. Brand new. Brand new. Wow. He was 60 years old, and his goal was to fly to his 90th birthday, wow. which he did. And then at 90 years old, he sold this airplane to the Kelly family. And I flew Jim Kelly um, until he passed away. And now I fly for the, the Kelly family. And Miss Kelly came to me and says, we want to get this airplane out. Nobody knows the history of this airplane and where it is. And, and it's sort of a tribute to John Glenn and Mr. Kelly because they became good friends mm -hmm. and almost talked every day. Wow. So, uh, and we flew the airplane yeah. to Ohio and had it signed. That's cool. So, let's talk about an honor to, to be able to do that and kind of fly a piece of history around. It's great to fly a piece of history. Yeah. And everywhere I go, everybody wants to know what it is. And the, sure. the painting on it, uh, the nose art is unbelievable. Yeah. So. I'm excited. That's awesome. But what we're doing when we do a high performance checkout mm. pressurized airplanes, we want to go through the systems of the airplane, sure. and how the turbocharger pressurizes the airplane. Mm -hmm the turbocharger procedures, mm -hmm. the cooling procedures. The big thing in a, in a piston-powered mm -hmm. airplane is you don't want to over-temp the airplane. Right. And this is high performance, putting a lot of fuel, is that what they air. You're talking like shock cooling, or you're talking the exact opposite? Opposite, running it too hot. Too hot, okay, gotcha. Right. On climb out, you got to keep your speed up right. to keep the engine cool and make sure your cow flaps are open. So more like a cruise climb then, rather cruise than just trying correct. to boogie on up. Okay, right. gotcha. And you want to make sure your oil um, cylinder head temperatures don't get above 400 degrees. Okay, wow. Well, they say you can get them as 450, but... You don't, want to, you don't want to test that theory, though. Airspeed and fuel is cheap in the big picture. Yes, gotcha. So today we'll talk about V-speeds, um, starting procedures, run-up procedures, mm -hmm. and then the, what we're looking for before we take off. We're going to do a static run-up on the runway, mm -hmm. make sure you get your 39 inches of manifold pressure, mm -hmm. your 2,500 RPM, before we even start to roll. Okay. Because if you're not making that power, we don't need to move. Yeah, I gotcha. I understand. So, that's what we're going to do today. All right. Max gross weight on this airplane is 6,100 pounds. Okay. Empty weight is about 39. We'll get into that a little bit. Okay. So holds a lot of fuel though, and everything else. So. It holds 200 gallons. Of fuel. <laughs> exactly. So, 100, 194 usable. Yes. Yeah. So so full fuel. You and I are. Needs, you and I are. Yeah. <laughs> we're all right. Yeah. But. We're about a little less than three quarters today. Yeah. On fuel. So the three of us in the airplane will do really good today. Yeah. Um, the big thing about it's a 6,000 pound airplane. Mm. So it's not going to get off the ground in 1,200 feet like our 172 right. or your little Rotex machine. Yeah, yeah. Um, How many horsepower is that? It's 100 each side. And it still leaps off. It's light, though. Yeah, it's, it's a very light airplane, and that's yeah. what it was designed for. Yeah. This is a heavier airplane, mm -hmm. um, and it'll climb nonstop up to 23,000 feet. Yeah, that's uh, cool. A Baron at 23,000 feet, the wing is very thin. It's not made to, it'll fly up there. Sure. But uh, you want to watch your oil temps and your cylinder head temperatures at that altitude. You just do a VFR flight following at 17.5 then. 17.5 and <laughs> you're good. That's awesome. That's cool. But uh, this airplane likes the mid-teens. You, nice. you can get around a lot of weather. Sure, up there. Absolutely. Because you can get above. And not a lot of airplanes operate between 12 and 18,000 feet. Baron 364 uniform crusher, turbulence, runway 1, 8, clear for takeoff, turn right on course. On course to the right, uh, 64 uniform, clear for takeoff, runway 1, 8. All right, fuel pumps are on. Pumps on, AC's off. Oh, sorry. Uh, Air conditioner's off. off and uh, lights on. Lights are on. All right, line up on the Mr. runway. 1968. You got ailerons to the left for your. Got to sure feel it. Wind. All right, and we're going to bring it up to 25 inches of manifold pressure. Verify that we have oil temperature and oil pressure. All right, sure deal. Bring it up to 30 inches. And use them all the way to full power. Make sure you got 39 inches of manifold pressure, 2,500 RPM. You got it. All the way. All right. Airspeed's alive. Engine gauges look good to your side. Cross check. Got my hands on the way, but. Cross check 60. 81. Lower your nose. Positive rate of climb. There we go. Gear up. I'll get the gear for you. Thank you. Okay. And accelerate the blue line, nose down just a bit. Okay, 321 Mike Sierra, Kelly Tower, runway 18, is clear for takeoff. Turn left hitting 110. Left All right, when you one, feel comfortable, on, uh, 321 Mike Sierra. we'll do a right turn to the west. All right. Birds there. Wow, this is awesome, man. Plus 
fly in a piece of history, huh? It's a beautiful machine. It just purrs. Yeah. All right, coming through a thousand feet, we'll go throttles to 35 inches. All right. In six four uniform, frequency change approved for advisory. East Jacksonville approach is one one eight point six. Six four you, thank you. All right, all right, twenty five hundred on the RPM, and that's on the left side. Just on the left side, no, no both of them. Both of them? Yeah, I'm talking to. Yeah, I got the controls on the left side. Yeah. And we'll uh, adjust the altitude yep. here to something a little higher. And you'll hear them sync up. I have to get them close though, right? Yep. There you go. Nice. All right, fuel pump left, coming off. Fuel pump left side, watching. All right. Keep your finger on it till it yes, sir. doesn't change, and then you the right me side. That. Right side. All right. All right, we're leaving the control pattern, so landing light's coming off. Landing light's off, left side, right side. All right, climb checklist. Cruise climb go to 130. All right. Lower that nose a little bit, sorry. All right. Different little sight picture. Sync, we'll leave off. Y'all dampener, if you want the autopilot, we'll use that. We'll That's let you fine. hand fly it a little bit. Yeah, it's fine. Pressurization, it's coming off. We're pressurized one inch. And yep. we're still pressurized at seat level. All right. Okay. Can AC come back on or not yet? I turned it on already. Did you? Good. <laughs> it's the first thing you do as soon as you clear the pattern. I believe it. All right, it doesn't look like we'll be able to get 5,000 feet today, nope. so... Uh, we can go out here and do some steep turns, kind of just, uh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're flying a, a piece of history today, so I'm just happy right. to be up here doing this, man. All right, we've got traffic, 12 o'clock, five miles, 500 feet above us. All right, I'll be looking for that, I'll haze you today. Almost got us that 130. All right, 3,500 feet, 330 is the heading. You want to try a steep turn? All right, do it. All right, I'm clear to the left. Let's go. All right, left turn, clear. That nose up a little bit. Take a little bit of bank out. Nothing like doing steep turns in 150 knots. Oh, yeah. And it's when the John Glenn flew. <laughs> Piece of history. Yeah, to add to it. I'm just thankful the Kelly family will keep this airplane flying and, that is and cool. to maintain it. And it's a it's a great machine. That is so cool, man. So guys, we got some cool opportunities for you to come out and see this Baron as well, to, to see it at the AOPA fly-ins, at Oshkosh, and just all the big major air shows. We're going to be there. Joel's going to be representing it. Myself, the M0A.com team will be at our booth as well as really having a second booth so you can come out and really see this piece of aviation history. I hope you are uh, just enjoying M0A.com, the videos we've been producing, and hopefully you come out and enjoy this piece of history. So, Joel, what's the most important uh, thing for everyone to remember? Be a part of Parker. Uh, you're always learning every flight. You're always learning. Absolutely. And from the M0A family, oh, the Kelly family, we're going to bring you this airplane so everybody can enjoy a, 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 a view, a piece of history. Awesome. We'll see you guys. Pass your check ride or I'll pay for it. Join our number one rated online ground school and participate in live mock check rides and interactive written test prep. Visit groundschoolacademy.com to learn more.